Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon A Farfetch story. Last episode we were just enjoying our time at our own home alone then a normal Farfetch King was like yo let's go to the beach and kind of convinced us to go flying. Went flying and a storm happened and we just end up in the Alto region. Met a, uh, a rock ruff called Rocky who we managed to save from a Trubbish and a Phantom. Made it back to a uh, Greenleaf Village. Is it Greenleaf Village? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, Greenleaf Forest, this big Greenleaf Village, where the Chief Shaman has uh, lost their Gracedia flower. And we need to go and try and basically get it back and also try and stop the Weather Trio from just, you know, causing some issues because they've had the storm, we had an immense amount of sunshine earlier. So we're going to go on our journey and go across the Alto region. So we're going to head down into a peri Perianth pathway with the pink trees, which just look... I said it before, pink trees and fan games, I don't know what it is. They, they look really nice. Look really, really nice. Hey, what up, fan feed? But we can also switch out our uh, team members. we got Farfetch, then we can go into Shaman. Or we go... Oh, there you go. Rockruff, which is really cool. And each have um, different abilities. Where uh, So Rockruff can sprint and jump. Farfetch can cut down trees and the Shaman can heal the team up, which is really cool, but there are no aggressive Pokemon in Periant Forest. However, some Pokemon might want to have a friendly battle with you. Okay, cool. Sounds good. You want a battle? Yes, you do. What a beautiful day. Bring it on. And is it a double or a single? It's a single. Okay. All good. Well, let's go for Fury Cutter. Ooh, critical hit. Off to a fantastic start. And XP shares on, which is very nice as well. It's going to make just grinding the best. Otherwise, that would uh, be really difficult. But Leech Seed, that's fine, because this Fury Cutter should finish you off. Perfect. <laughs> I do have some potions and stuff if I need to use them. But we, we got Shaman that can also heal up. But it's only once. But uh, if we go to like a tent or um, a rest stop, then it, you know we can use it again. Do you want a battle? Uh, the pink trees here stay pink all year long. Nice. Oh, item there. Let's go and grab that. Got a Lumberry. And maybe Eevee wants to battle. Yes, you do. Let's have some fun. Sounds good. Let's do it. What you got for us? Eevee and... Oh, it's just Eevee. Or single battles at the moment. Sometimes they've been double battles. But baby doe eyes, that's fine. Rock smash should hopefully... Ooh, do a lot of damage. More finish off. Might switch out because we're a little bit weak. Depends what the Pokemon is. Uh, let's see, it's a Pidgeot. Oh, it's not set to uh, switch, it's on set. Okay, uh, we should definitely switch. If I can switch the settings, I will. If it's stuck on set, then it um, means we're going to have to be a little bit more careful when we battle. Don't get the luxury of just going, Do you want to switch Pokemon? Yes, I do. Because yeah, not gonna do much. We good, we good. And rock Tomb to finish you off. Perfect, let's go. But so far I've gotta say, like, I'm loving this game. Playing as Pokemon, the idea of like having each Pokemon have like a different little ability. Ah, oh, it's so cool. So so cool. Gonna use a normal potion real quick. Alrighty. Uh let's go. Dialogue to the south. Wait, is that dead end? Oh, it might be, but... Yo! Oh look, it's Smith, the famous painter! Good afternoon, beautiful creatures. I am Sir Smith... Smitherson Revington Joseph III. You can call me Smith. I paint portraits of other Pokémon free of charge. How exciting! Please paint Farley for me. Ugh, no thanks. Don't forget the leak. Of course, of course. Please take a seat. <laughs> Are you done yet? My neck is sore. Hmm, lovely. This has turned out quite well. This might be my magnum opus. Please have a look. Okay. That's <laughs> so good. Wonderful. Is this a joke? Wow, this is magnificent. You even got the facial expression right. <laughs> it's creative, I guess. At least it's free. Shall we? Let's do, let's do one together. D sure. <laughs> I bet this would be like really, really good now, but yes, yes, this is wonderful. Did the shading perfectly on this one. D no. <laughs> I'm speechless. I, I am too. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Thank you. 
You may take the paintings. Great. <laughs> Did they do anything? Thank you so much. We'll definitely come back another day. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> They're just... They're great. I don't know, I half expected like the, the Shaman and Rockcroft ones to be like really like perfect masterpieces, but the fact they got even worse is just... <laughs> Oh, dude. Like I said, this, this game got great writing. Like, this is really, really good. Like, it, I, I say, like, this every year, but these Relic Castle Game Jam games, like, I think I prefer smaller games, like, short games like this, and it's weird that I feel like some of these games that I've made in, like, four or five weeks are just really, really good. <laughs> but knockoff, do we want knockoff? Mm. I'll give it a brutal sw uh, swing for knockoff. A bit more than if Pokemon's holding something, that'd be good. Alright, uh, let's lead off a rock rock for a little bit. What's that? Oh, it's got an item. Got protect. Whee. Let's go down. I might just like switch out Pokemon every now and then, but. Well, I say switch out, but like, you know what I mean? Just like change the Pokemon to like, like this. Just because. It was getting dark. I think we should rest here for the night. All right. Sounds good. What a day. I think we deserve a good break. We still have a long way to go. Hope that we can find my Grace Adia and stop the Weather Trio. I don't want to let down Greenleaf. Can you tell me more about the Weather Trio? Why are they mad? Groudon, Kyogre and Rayquaza live on the summit of Mount Alto. We give them offerings every week. But we stopped recently. That's why they're mad. Offerings? Why? Uh, they say that they control the weather of the Alto region, so we owe them. That's nonsense! The weather has nothing to do with Pokemon. There are no weather trio where I'm from. It's a natural force. We've been questioning that for many years. The weather trio have been around for centuries. Their past is a mystery. They're also very powerful and intimidating. No one dares to fight them. Well, I think they're just uh, lying so they can get free food from you guys. Oh, that make my blood boil. I want to go to the summit and crush them on my leak. Ooh, let's go, Farfetch. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? But today was fun. I haven't gone on an adventure with friends in a long time. Well, I don't have many friends. Shelby is my only friend. A lot of Pokemon think I'm annoying. <laughs> Farfetch's face like, uh, uh oh. <laughs> um, sorry about my attitude today. It's been a rough day. Sure, you can be a little annoying sometimes, but I know you only have good intentions. I do admire your optimism. Thank you, Farley. We'll definitely find your home soon. I promise. Aww. Farfetch really nice, but the next day... Can we go into the tent? Because sometimes the barrels in the tents have some items. It's empty. Ah, unfortunate. But let's go. Uh, let's grab this. What we got? Quick, ooh, quick claw. Uh, who would be slow? Well, I'm not going to give it to you, because obviously you're the leak. Shaman will be the slowest, right? Do I give it to Shaman? Alright. Oh, that's Trubbish. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Trying to steal that rock again? N no, I, I... This is embarrassing, but I need your help. Oh, okay. Do you think you deserve our help after yesterday? N no, but... My dad? He's very, very sick. We really need Chief Shelby's healing. Please. Is this the evil Pokemon that you were talking about, Rocky? Yes, he stole my rock. Hmm, Trubbish, you did something very hurtful. However, I cannot ignore anyone who needs my assistance. This may sound bad, but I believe that I should help this Trubbish. What do you say, Rocky? I agree. <laughs> Fine. But we will leave immediately once the job is done. Thank you so much. You can call me Trent, by the way. Oh! Trent joins the party? Oh, man. I mean, I'm kind of happy there's more than three. I thought it's going to be like, going to be it, but... Uh, what is your ability? Likes eating trash. Not himself, that's weird. <laughs> oh, okay, so... 
My house is in Mudsunk Cave. It's not too far from here. That's fine. We're going through that cave anyway. So, do you have any special abilities that can help us? I can cut trees, Shelby can heal, and Rocky can jump far. Um, I can eat your leftovers. Never mind. <laughs> so, no special ability. Oh, hello. Aim high. Okay. Ooh, okay, Corviscar, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna... Probably should just switch into Rocky. Trends level 25? He's pretty tough. You gonna taunt me? That's absolutely fine. I was planning to uh, just attack anyway. So all good. I think Rock Tomb does a little bit more than Rock Throw, but either way. It's gonna take two hits, I think. Give me that experience. Thank you very much. 24. Ooh, close to 25. And a Swallow. Hey! Oh, we're definitely going to another level here. Aerial Ace is fine. Because Rock Tomb going to hopefully one-shot you. Nice! Get destroyed. Ooh, it's going to play rough. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of Rock Throw because we've got Rock Tomb. How could we be good if we need to, like, power up our attack and if, you know, wanted to try and not get hit, double team would be the way. Alright, so let's go down here. Uh, let's go to Trubbish for a little bit. So we'll grab this and go to uh, Pleasant Berry. And that just wraps around, doesn't it? Cool. Hey, Meryl, what up? If you want to battle, then probably best to actually... Hey, look at my Shaman. Wait, does Shaman have any Grass-type moves? Yeah, Magical Leaf, that'll do. You want to battle? Drizzle Cave is a nice place to visit. It is a popular tourist area during the summer. Oh, you don't want to fight. Ooh, Drizzle Cave. The music here is really nice and it looks really cool. Hey, oh, cool team you have there. I know, right? It's not actually bad. Glarian Farfetch, a Rockruff, a Shaman, a Trubbish. Oh, it's a triple battle? Hey, nice. Bring back triple battles, I say. I like triples. Uh, I'm going to go... Play rough and then oh, I don't really know what to go for, but I think that will probably have to do. I felt that play rough lasted a very long time. <laughs> nice one shot in the uh, Silicobra. Any Trent's gaining some experience. Sweet. Ooh, that was close. Oh, the Mega Dream really sucks. Uh, so Magical Leaf you, that would take you out. Uh, it's Rock Tomb, and then... Actually, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to double attack this just in case. So we definitely take out the Poliwhirl. Oh, never mind. It's all good. Quick Claw coming in handy, and Synthesis. No, we're good, we're good. Oh, Bubble Bean, no, Rocky! Unlucky. I'm gonna use Shaman to revive him just because I need the experience for everyone who wants someone to fall behind. Alright, so how do we do this? I think if we go. Oh. Um. We've got Earth Power as well, we should probably teach that to someone. Double team now. Keep Howl. Oh, Rock Rift, don't look sad. Rocky, are you okay? I don't know how I feel about this. Trent stole my rock and bullied me. I get why you're helping him, but. I know, I understand. Don't worry. If anything bad happens, I'll be there to protect you. Okay. Aw. Good guy, Shaman. Hey, oh. The sand is like a golden blanket. Okay, I mean... Yeah. Ooh, nice, another triple battle. And now we've got Trent. All right, I'm going to Magical Leaf the Seedra. I'm going to Rock Smash the Corsola. And I'm going to Sludge the Seedra in case it doesn't get taken out. 
Nice. Nice, got that poison going. Oh, I didn't even finish it off. I honestly thought Rock Smash would probably one-shot Corsola. That's all good. So I'm going to go do this, and then Fury Cutter, and then sludge the Corsola to hopefully finish it off. And oh, okay. Well, you can endure if you want, but it doesn't matter because the poison will finish you off. So, <laughs> Although, actually, I don't know if we do enough damage. We definitely will next turn. Got poison. Ah, oh, you got something to heal you up. The aqua ring. Right, can't hit ya, which is unfortunate. No target, but sludge. Nice. And so much experience. Anything on this rock? Wait, we got a pearl. So maybe we can sell this when we get to a shop again. Farley can break this. Uh, oops. So like Farley, you just press A, but you can break rocks too? Of course. I slice through it like butter. We should be far. Oh, Cramorant. Hello? Cram! Oh, it's two of you. Or? It's three of you now. Grant. Welcome to the Cramorant Game Show. I don't remember signing up for this. I know these guys. It's the Cramorants. They love to play games with random travelers. We have to participate in their game show. Wow, sounds fun. We don't have time for games right now. Can you just let us go? Thank you for entering the Cramorant Game Show. There are three mini games you must complete. They will test your agility, intelligence, and awareness. Good luck! <laughs> I don't want to play your stupid games, but we have to. Ugh. Let's just get this over and done with. Alright, uh, I guess we'll start off with this one. Mini game one, synchronize. Okie dokie. Welcome to the uh, Synchronize minigame. There are two levels. For each level you have to do a tile puzzle. Good luck. Oh, I love tile puzzles. Okay, level one. Here's the first tile puzzle. Oh, nice. Do we rotate? Oh, I think we have to rotate these. Nope, that's not it. Need help. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if these do get rotated or not. No, I don't think they do. I can't be. Oh, I see. Oh, no, I see. I see. It's going to confuse it a second. So it's a head-on portrait. So they don't get rotated, which is good. Makes it a lot easier. Um, it probably goes like that, I would assume. Mm, I think that's right. Well, that definitely goes there, and that will go there then. Is that right? Yeah. Good job. On to the next stage. And this game's got everything I love. Playing as Pokemon, got some little puzzles in there. Great story, but level two. Here's the second and final tile puzzle. Hint, pay attention to the background colors. Okay. Uh, is this gonna be the sky? I think I probably want to put this like that. I can kind of see what I'm going for. No, it doesn't, doesn't go like that. Mm. <laughs> I think this will go. I think that definitely goes like that, but it's trying to figure out 
where I need to put things. I think that actually goes... Nah, that can't be right. Aha! And that would go there. Oh, it's more making sense now, okay. That go like that. That would go there, maybe? Background colors definitely do help if you focus on the background colors. No, I won't go there. That. Yeah, that goes there. This is a left side one. That doesn't go there, though. That probably goes up. And that's a wing. There you go. Congratulations, you've completed the minigame. Woo! Nice. All right, on to minigame number two. All right, oh, this is number three. Do an order, why not? So minigame number two. So welcome to the Keen Eyes minigame. There are three levels, for each level you will enter a special room. Try and analyze every single detail of that room. Once the timer is up, I will ask you three questions. Oh no. I suck at this sort of stuff. Okay. Wait, uh... Okay. No. If we get it wrong, he's still 20 gold. That's... Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Level 1. Do you have keen eyes? You have 20 seconds. So there's one star, three branches, five rocks. Okay. One, three, five. I got... I got this. Time is up. Five rocks. Three stumps. And one... Blue starfish. Oh, I didn't figure the colour for a second then. Congratulations, you got all three questions correct. On to the next stage, oh man. Level two, you have keen eyes, you have 45 seconds. So there's three cramorants, one is shiny. There's five little bushes. Uh, Okay, I'm not gonna cheat. I got this, I hope. <laughs> so five bushes, three cramorant, one shiny. Anything else? I don't think so. Uh, part of me is just thinking, what if like, they say how many tiles across is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just in case, so it's five and three. 5-3 is the main thing. Oh, please don't be annoying. Time is up. I didn't speak to him. Oh, no. I don't know which one's Julie. I don't think I could speak to him. Which way they were facing? Oh, I can't remember which way they were facing. Total shot in the dark. Right. Ah. Left. Okay. What does Fred like? I don't know. Pizza. Burgers. Orange berries. <laughs> Who is shiny? I don't know. Mark? Hey! <laughs> oh, on to the next stage. I'm, I'm happy that, like, you don't have to redo everything, but you get one minute for this one. Oh my goodness, I'm going bankrupt. Yep. So there's four footprints. Oh, dude, the signs as well. Okay, um, there's three, sorry, four footprints, six bushes, two little plants, two starfish, one is blue, one is red, three blue sh um, yeah, not like selfish. <laughs> Uh, wait, no, it's four. Yeah, four. One, oh, dude, this is so hard to remember. Three is blue. Nine, four, one. Three signs. Six, nine, three. Two, six, five, eight, one. Oh, I'm not going to remember any of this. Oh, there's one little, like, sand like, pile there, and there's three branches. Oh, dude, I hope I get this right. There's four footprints. 
what does the right sign say? It was the, that was the bigger number. And how many? Oh, how many rocks were there? Oh, I'm trying. I'm about to say four, but it's not four. Five? Nope. Six? Three? Okay, three. You have keen eyes. Uh, not really. I lost a bit of money, but luckily it wasn't too bad. Surprised I managed to get two of them right. Alright, last mini game. Welcome to the Quick Feet mini game. You have one minute to complete a maze. If the timer runs out, you lose 50 gold and you have to restart. How much gold do I have? I don't know. I can't. I don't know how to tell. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Yes. Okay, you have one minute. Ready? Get set. Go! Oh, I gotta break this. Ah! And then break. Jump! Uh, let's go this way. That's the end. Uh, let's go this way. That did end? No, I can go around, I can go around, I can go around. Oh, this is the right way. <laughs> Please don't be a dead end. Oh, we can do it, we can do it! Oh no! Can we get there in time though? Ah, uh, quick, 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 quick! Ah, ah! Jump, jump! Hey, eight seconds to spare. Whew. That was, uh, that was close. Alright, so we did all three mini games. Also, I want to save the games, it's been a while. Just in case. Yo! Congratulations, you completed all of the mini games. Thank you for participating. We hope you had fun. I actually did have fun, it was good. Your prize is the exit. Wait, please come again. So where does this take us? Where are we? This is a mud sunk cave. We're almost at my house. Okie dokie. Got a tent here. Let's get rested up. And empty. Okay. Well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off then. Next episode, we'll continue on and get to mud sunk cave and we can um, save Trubbish's dad. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.